In this ion dipole problem, we're asked to determine which of the following mixtures would exhibit ion dipole interactions K3PO4 in water or K3PO4 in hexane, C6H14. We need to be aware of the fact that ion dipole interactions will require both ions and polar molecules. Remember that polar molecules are also called dipoles, so it requires both ions and polar molecules for the solvent. Potassium phosphate, K3PO4, is an ionic compound, so it does consist of ions, potassium ions and phosphate ions. And water is a polar molecule, polar solvent, while C6H14 is a nonpolar substance. So potassium phosphate will have ion dipole interactions with water, but not with C6H14. Not with this illustrates uh, a solvated potassium ion in a solvent cage. So when the potassium phosphate dissolves in water, it breaks apart into potassium ions and phosphate ions. And the potassium ions will become surrounded by a sort of cage of water molecules. And the water molecules, notice, have oriented themselves such that the negative oxygen of the molecules of water are pointed toward the positively charged potassium ion. And the squiggly line here corresponds to an electrostatic attraction between the partial negative part of the water, the oxygen, and the positive charge on the potassium ion. And at the same time, the phosphate ions, which are the anions of the potassium phosphate, will be surrounded by a solvent cage. But notice that the water molecules are turned the other direction now. In fact, the positive parts of the, of the water molecules, the hydrogen atoms, are pointed toward the negatively charged phosphate ion in the center of the cage. And so the attraction here is an electrostatic attraction between the negatively charged phosphate and the partial positively charged hydrogens of the water molecules. So as a result, we can conclude that potassium phosphate is soluble in water due to those ion dipole interactions, but it is not soluble in the nonpolar solvent C6H14 because there are no ion dipole interactions present to stabilize the ions.